Aladdin chase him, it was for a reason. Right. And like you said, right, that's why you pretty much had him. So into winner's finals, it is going to be Muffin with the Lucas versus Charlie with the Sheik bringing it back. Like I said, it's nothing nothing to say like, oh, you know, I can't go Sheik against Aladdin um, because, you know, I want to go Sheik against, you know, lower players. It's one of those deals where it's just a comfort pick. You kind of have to see how Sheik would do against a character like Lucina where her damage in terms of just raw strength is really overwhelming to a character like Sheik, which is a death by a thousand cuts. And in Vladen's case, Charlie knows that, you know, he has a particular struggle against this character in the past mm -hmm. and knows that the matchup history is certainly in his favor. Versus Sheik, who can kind of pretty much almost oppress any of the Earthbound characters. Right. I mean, if there's one thing that Lucas and Ness don't particularly have, it's ground speed. Okay, I've never seen that actually be absorbed, but it does count as an explosion. So it'll be enough for Ness to actually get the absorption off of the bouncing fish for here for Charlie. I was going to say, he's looking for a backer at the frame that he tries to go for the tether grab. He him with the PK fire, and out of the way, the PK thunder to Charlie returning with an aerial. Mm, he missed the forward air too, and then get, get punished by the up tilt. One up tilt will get him off stage. Actually connects the needles as he returns, but Muffin going to meet him with another aerial. I like that option. Doesn't even go for bouncing fish. He just connects the needles, kind of bypassing him enough time to come back on the stage. Wasn't enough, though, because he still lost his stock, but still really good for Charlie to be aware of. Okay, I want to make sure I'm coming back safe as possible, and if the needles are have to be wasted, great opportunity for it. into back air. I felt he wanted to set himself for another one, but he didn't see any coming in from Muffin. Yeah, that's just a good calculation on Charlie's part, knowing that the needles are probably... Oh my goodness, no, he's, good, he's good, he's good. Okay, so the reason why that forward tilt didn't connect is because Lucas actually has a couple frames of invincibility, wherein he goes for up smash. So that's why you, we saw Charlie's forward, uh, forward tilt not connect at all. Unable to land that needle conversion, but drag down Nair actually going to work out for Muffin. I feel like that was most definitely a miss but we'll see how things go here for Charlie. Now that he put himself at disadvantage, forward tilt will be enough to stop Sheik. One up tilt, but he's... Actually, he's going to be popped up and lead to nothing. Charlie not even hunting him down. That's kind of the thing about Sheik, too. Back in the Smash 4 duration, Sheik at higher percents had some different kill options. In Ultimate, it's really hard for Sheik to kind of kill you at higher percents because most of her combos won't be available anymore. But that Bouncy Fish is still out there enough to take out Muffin from Mars here. Charlie come back with forward air. Puts this man off the stage. What a corner carry if I've seen one. More forward airs. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's death by a thousand cuts. And Charlie makes sure every cut cuts deep. Yeah, it's a slow burn for Muffin, but Charlie continuing to throw out some of these fares. Down there as he goes off stage, not going to be caught out from Charlie. He'll just take stage oh, control, but the back no. throw! And the Nair, it literally came from Charlie trying to go for Nair, but he was a little bit too far off. That allowed Muffin to just go ahead and go for grab. And if I'm not mistaken, looking at the hitboxes, uh, thanks to Ultimate Frame Data, uh, in Smash 4, the Nair, the, the foot where Sheik, it's kind of hard to rip, describe it in, in words, but basically, back in Smash 4, Sheik's Nair had a bigger hitbox behind her other foot. Mm -hmm. In Ultimate, it's no longer there. It's just her main foot, so. Right, there's a lot of, you know, sex kicks in the game that mm -hmm. don't necessarily cover from both sides. Exactly, and, and, that's, and Sheik's Nair is one of them. Compared to Smash 4, where it actually used to cover, like, the other side as well. Right, that's going to prompt the switch to Wolf from Charlie, and already looking like it's paying off 54% and continuing. I apologize. The IC is too good here at Hat. I mean, you got to take advantage of the concessions. Oh, yeah. For sure, man. It's one of the one of the beauties of this event here. PK Fire, though, will be the beauty for Nuffer Muffin to not get sniped here at the ledge. Charlie with the chase down. No forward tilt. He does have him in high percents. Wolf is a glass kind of. I like how he kind of holds back the PK Freeze enough to try to stop him. PK Thunder. Muffin wanted to hit himself, but at that opportunity, it wasn't anywhere where 
Charlie was going to be, so he just decided, okay, you know what, let me get the stage bounce instead. And Muffin actually going to be taking that first stock with the up smash. Charlie dropping shield at the exact wrong moment there. Look, I don't want to tell you guys Muffin is popping popping off today, but with that win on key from a 3-0, mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a reason why he's in winner's finals. I mean, call it bracket luck, call it catch-up DQing, call it what you like, but you're going to have to call it for Muffin at the end of the day if he keeps playing like this. I mean, at, at this point, right, I want to see if Ketchup's in it, man. What's the take, Muffin? What's the take? How? What's the split between you and Ketchup? There's got to be a reason. One there at center stage. Charlie just hanging back, still being very defensive here. Finally goes on the attack with that throw combo and continues, ferries him across the entire stage. Another Nair. I like it. Charlie making sure he's mixing up those options with his arrows. He either goes for a double jump or an empty hop to delay which way he's going to go for a Nair or back air. Tech chase scenario. I like it because he wanted the roll get up from Muffin, but there was nowhere to be found. Yep, and that'll do it. It's really hard to DI that one simply because like it's a specific combo that Charlie always pulls off mm -hmm. at certain percents. And it, because of PS2 working this way, it'll work out very much in Charlie's favor. It's... It's a Twitter combo that Charlie can pull off, for sure. Yeah, Charlie loves to go for Fair Flash on top of the platforms in particular, partially because it leaves you with that 50-50. Are you going to land on the other platform, or are you going to land on the stage? And with the amount of landing lag, you pretty much have to make a choice, because if you guess wrong, it's going to be back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Once again, mixing up those aerials here in the terms of timing. Forward air. Missed opportunity there on the platform. There was uh, At this point, I kind of overshot it. But I still respect Charlie for going for it. I mean, we have that high percent. Well, he wasn't going to have time to DI that. And that probably would have been the death of him here. Sets himself up for back airs this time around. I feel like what he was going for in the situation where we saw a couple games ago where he went for a few back airs only to have his opponent feel safe, that he might go for an up smash to read the force of the roll. Lucha air, no tech chase here. Often didn't go for a tech situation. He just went towards the ledge. Grounded PK fire and Charlie waiting out that nair, but Muffin had the sense to drift back. That's kind of one of my favorite things about Charlie when he calls people out there in the neutral. He just goes for it. Like, you know what? Forget forget everything. I'll just go for dash attack. It's got pretty good range. Parry and the up tilt, and that'll do it. Just sends him up. Charlie evening out the score one to one. That Sheik did not work out in game one, but the Wolf looking like the remedy. Sheik will never work out, man. I'm just telling you. <laughs> that character is dead. We, we even saw Void try, and it did not work out in his favor. Many have tried. But it's just not working out, man. And it, I mean, maybe, who knows, man? Maybe next 2020 is a whole new decade. Maybe Sheik will finally return. We'll see how things go. I mean, to Charlie's credit, he took an entire hat a couple of weeks ago with Solo Sheik, but against a player of Muffin's quality, it looks like Wolf might just be the, the better only choice. option. I, I yeah. want to say the better option, but the only option, really. Yeah. Charlie also does have a Lucina. I've seen him go Mario. Why? I don't know, but hey, mm -hmm. man. More to him. Sometimes you got to find out about those matchups you just don't like. Picking up characters that you lose to can also help you understand. Why the character might suffer down tilt. That was really good there at the ledge, only because it was a different mix-up. Charlie hasn't gone for that at all. But down tilt wouldn't have changed much, as aside from going for forward tilt or down smash. Hubble, up throw. What a change up here against Muffin, because I feel at that point Muffin had already held the DI for down throw, which has mm -hmm. pretty much been the move for Charlie to go for. Yeah, it's not an option you saw every time, and that drift just leading him right into Wolf's outstretched foot. Nice. Back end of Nair was enough. You talk about some of the best sex kicks in the game here. Wolf's definitely one of them. Oh, that was so close. Not enough timing, but the parry from Muffin will make sure Charlie's off the stage yet again. Going high, and that was just a bit of a, a result of the frustration that you really saw from a couple of these back throws. Charlie unable to really get two feet planted. Oh, that was really good. He read. So the reason why he was able to go for that is he went for downer, knowing that the last hit was going to pop Charlie towards the right. And then that was enough for Muffin to just be at that right position for the home run. Still living after the nair. Charlie missing the F-tilt, but Muffin rebounding off the stage and rebounding right into Wolf's foot. That back air going to be the second stock for Charlie. Yeah. Tremendous play from Muffin we saw earlier, but Charlie making sure he keeps his head calm and collected. I like it. He's looking to push him all the way towards the ledge for a good reason there. Down throw. Change up here. Only at early percent simply because he wants to go for the double dash attack mm -hmm. and the corner carry. It's a lot of damage and a lot of opportunity for Wolf to just put here at a, such a huge disadvantage. 
I mentioned it here being a huge disadvantage. Now Muffin at the ledge. Invincibility kind of ran out there, but Muffin picked the right time. Up throw, he's going to retreat back. Not going for the Naren, now going for it. I was going to say, where's the PK Thunder? Not enough, though, as Charlie's able to come back on the stage. Actually going to slide off the side platform. Down till Texan place. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Back throw, not enough. Still gets Charlie the stage and the opportunity to set himself at the ledge guard here. I don't know what it is with the wolf mains this week, but so far Larry missed a couple four tilts. Elegant was falling off of them, unfortunately, and so far Charlie hasn't been able to two frame with any of the four tilts. Mm -hmm. Might have to go for that low wolf fire, but that's still too low. 146 to Muffin. Certainly just a tiny bit of hope here, but Muffin will die to an F tilt at this percent, perhaps even an up tilt if he gets him in the right spot. Looking for the DI mix up on that one. Yep, went for up throw. Muffin was probably holding away to be afraid of four, uh, down throw or four throw, but that's why Charlie went for up throw. So it is going to be Charlie taking game three in his possession. The Wolf is going to be absolutely what he needed, just what the doctor ordered, just as that Icy is what the doctor ordered for Vance. Yeah. He prescribed me an Icy, and I told him, you know what, Doc, I like, what you, I like the way you think. Maybe he does not have one too many Icy's, though. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure I live past 2020. Anyways, let's go here to game four. Charlie up two, what two to one against Muffin. Muffin started off really, really hot against Charlie, but I, like you mentioned, it, right? The doctor did prescribe Charlie a wolf change, and it looks like it's working out. Yeah, even with that max space near the perfect shield, going to be only a bit of an. Well, I was going to say it was the opportunity he needed to open up a combo, but Muffin only able to get that PK Thunder to offer the result of another neutral interaction. Oh, I think what Charlie was, I'm sorry, what Muffin was accounting for was Charlie going for a roll get up. There's back, Charlie putting him back to the right ledge with the Zare. Oh, that was really close. Or it's out. I was going to say there's going to be a PK Thunder if anything. Yep, and that'll carry Charlie off the stage. Yeah, and I love the use of the win box there on Magnet to just get him right off the ledge, which he was pushing himself forward to, but that dash attack from Charlie evening out the stocks. Down throw, dash attack. I like it. This time he wasn't able to get the second one at that percent. So he went for an empty hop, trying to see how Muffle was going to react to it. Perry, nice. Gives you that couple plus frames. I feel at this point, when, when it comes down to the close range combat, Charlie is one step ahead here. When it comes down to range between Zare and PK Fire, that's where Muffin might be excelling. But it's really hard when Charlie makes sure he keeps it close. Nice. Muffin makes sure he stalls his lining with a side stall. Now, Charlie did save his jump that entire time, so is going to be able to make it back safely. And the getup attack pushing him off of ledge. I was, oh, I thought that was going to be up smash from down air. I've seen Muffin pull that a couple times, but up forward smash was not going to be it. And up smash will be the one for Charlie. 104 here to Muffin's fresh stock. Blaster at the legend poking his foot through with a firewall. Fair, fair, fair. Back air for Charlie. Almost got the ink. Almost nice. got the game ender, I should say, with that second back air. So this man across the stage, PK Freeze will just put this man at the blast zone from that low. And it's kind of because Wolf has to kind of wind himself back up before he goes for Wolf Flash or Wolf Fire. So that allows Muffin enough time to execute it. Right, they're both frame 18, so neither one of them faster than the other. It is just a pure mix-up if you're looking ledge trap Wolf. Mm -hmm. Oh no, and the neutral getup will be it for Charlie. Down smash takes it, and Wolf a day keeps the Lucas away. Charlie with a 3-1. Excellent work from Charlie. Would not be surprised the way that Muffin's been playing if this is not the last we see of him all night. We could easily see him on loser side of Grands, but to do that, we'll have to run the loser's gauntlet here.